what's up guys and welcome to the mixing plugin series uh, in this series i get to explain in detail some of the parameters of the most basic mixing plugins for example compressors eq uh, delay reverb deessa and so on so in today's video we're going to be looking at delay and in this video i'll be using a mono delay plugin from cubase to explain how delay actually works and all the parameters on the delay plugin so stay tuned and let's get into the video hi my name is jay and welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a brand new video so i've made a number of videos prior to this one I've made videos on compression, uh, EQ, and DSA. Make sure you check them out. I'll put the links in the description. So I'll be using this vocal to demonstrate how a delay plugin actually works so that we understand the basic principles of delay. If you check here, I've set the grid to beat because I feel for delay, it will be easy for me to explain if I set this to beat. So from 39 to 40, 40 to 41, this is one beat, one beat, one beat, like that. One thing that we need to understand, first of all, is the notes. What is a quarter note? What is a half note, sixteenth note, eighth note? And that's the reason why I've set this to beat. When you come here, uh, there's this button which is called sync. The sync button actually just helps you uh, sync your delay plugin to the tempo. So before you start recording, find out the tempo of your instrumental that you're bringing into Cubase, then set the tempo in Cubase to the exact tempo of your beat. But there are situations where when you started recording, you didn't match the tempo of your beat to the tempo in Cubase. I'm also going to explain what you can do to actually find the right delay time for your vocals in such a case. So to set the tempo in Cubase, this is where you, you set it from. So you simply just put in your tempo right here. This is very important because um, when it comes to delay, it really sings perfect if you have the same tempo. So to start with, uh, I'll come here. So if we set our delay to a full note like this, then we're saying the delay should come in after one beat so let me say for example if this is where your vocal is starting to play the delay will come in at this point let me just demonstrate this so let me play this you see so i played from this point and the delay came in at this point point. and if i say half a note i'm expecting the delay to come in at this point let's play this if I set to a quarter note, I'm expecting the delay to come in at this point. So basically, this is what really happens here. So I've set this to sync. So it's just giving me a quarter note, half a note, a full note, like that. But there are situations where when you started recording, you didn't match the tempo of your beat to the tempo in Cubase. So in such a case, what you do is you unclick this tempo sync button. So how do you find a quarter note, a half note, and so on for your beat? Because depending on the tempo, the points at which a quarter note, a full note, and so on come in for different tempos is very different. So if the tempo is fast, this point is obviously going to come in fast. If you look at this, we have 500 milliseconds this delay time is measured in milliseconds. In order for you to get a quarter note, half a note, and so on, get 60,000, which is the number of milliseconds in a minute, and divide it by your tempo. Whatever it gives you will be a quarter note. If the tempo of our beat is 120 BPM, then if we divide 60,000 by 120 BPM, we get 500 milliseconds. So at 500 milliseconds, that's where you have a quarter note. When you come to your delay, you just set it to 500 milliseconds. If 500 is a quarter note, then how do you find half a note? So you simply multiply this by 2. This was a quarter note, which is 500. If you multiply this by 2, you get 
1,000. So 1,000 is at this point, half a note. From this point, I would love to explain these other parameters here. So I'll start with feedback. The feedback is basically how much this delay repeats. So already we know if we set to full, our delay will be at this point. But how much should it repeat? Should it go on from this and then come in again and come in and until it fades? So if I set this to somewhere here, let me play this. Like that. So if I set this to half a note, which is this, so the delay will come in at this point. So it will keep on coming in at this point until it fades. Let me play this. Okay, so if I play a quarter note, it will come in at this point and it will keep on coming in until it fades. So that's what the feedback does. So if I reduce it maybe to this point, so it finishes fast. Depending on the type of test that you want, using the feedback, after you've figured out what type of delay do you want, do you want it to come at this point, at this point, or at that point, and then just look for that optimal position where you want your delay to fade like that. So this is what you do with your feedback. Then if we look at the mix, on this mix knob, we have dry and wet on the other side. Dry is basically the, the raw vocal without the delay. So if I set this to this point, it's only going to play the vocal only, no delay. But if I take it all the way here, you notice that this is a quarter note. It's supposed to come in here. So when I play, this vocal won't play at this point. It's only going to play the delay. Let me play this. You see that? The vocal will not play, but in actual sense, it's playing, but because we've set to wait only, which is the delay only, it's only going to play the delay. So at what point do you want to put your dry and your wet? That one is also up to your taste. If you put it somewhere at 50%, 50 percent the dry vocal and 50 percent the delay. This means the vocal will play same volume level and the delay will come in same volume level. You don't want your delay and your vocal to have the same magnitude. You want your vocal to come in strong and then the delay to just be a little bit in terms of volume. So this is where you come to this point. So when I play somewhere here, my vocal will be almost full, full potential, but my delay won't be full potential because the delay, as I go to this side, the delay gets strong. But on this side, it's not that strong. So let me play this. That's how you set it. When you come to low filter and high filter, look at this in terms of an EQ. You have the low end and the high end. So for the low end, you have those bass sounds. And for the high ends, you have those light sounds. So basically this is it. Hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what video you think I should post next. Also follow me on Instagram at J the MG. Let's interact from there. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. See you in my next video. Peace.